Okay, hey, what's up guys, it's Instance here, and today I'm going to program a proxy scraper. It's going to be a little fun, little simple project. So a proxy is basically your client, your computer is going to request something to the web proxy, and the web proxy is going to be like, hey server, please give me that file. And uh, the server is going to be like, here's the file, take it, and the proxy is going to return it to the client. So we are going to program something that can automatically scrape proxies from web websites. So we are going to do it right now. We are just going to create a new project, a Windows Form application, and just call it Instance Scraper. Right there. Okay, so first off, we have the form right here, and I'm just going to give it some text. So Instance Scraper. I'm going to set show icon to false and the size we're going to keep that fixed so we're going to probably do it like this um, like this yeah this looks good to me and are we recording yes we are recording okay so we're just going to copy this and put it on the minimum size and the maximum size and put these two to false. So now we only have this. And now we're just going to put in a list box. So we have the list box right here. And we're just going to put that right over here. And this is going to contain all the proxy, so we're going to call it LB underscore get your proxies um, also we're going to put in a text box and we're going to call this one sources um, so tb underscore sources okay so basically the user can put in sources right here and I have some sources right over here so we're just going to copy these all and put them in the text section if I can find it right here okay so we're going to put those there and as you can see it's going to load all those little sources and maybe 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 I have to make this a little bigger for everything to fit in so is this let me look okay so you know what we're going to make it a little bigger give everything a little more room so let's just make it like this make it a little easier Um, so this is always I hate designing UIs it's not my favorite part about programming definitely not thanks .NET Framework for making everything really easy you have been a lifesaver okay so Proxies are going to be gathered right here, and the sources are here. And the user can a user can always put in their own proxy sources. So we're going to put in some buttons. We're just going to start with a button to start gathering. So we're going to call this gather, and uh, we're going to call this one button underscore gather. So now what we're going to do is the form right here we're going to give it a name like instance scraper and now we're going to uh, create a new class or no that's a little too 
for this small of a program we're just going to double click to load um, and we can be like uh, message box dot show and we're going to be like hey hey what up so this is going to be the start of a little pro program and we're going to import some stuff like using uh, system.text.regular expressions and we're also going to import using system.net and then right here we are going to create a new web client so web client underscore wc equals new web client yay okay so when we click gather we're going to trigger an event and for this I am going to use a background worker but I'm not going to uh, be working with delegates because I'm lazy today so we're just going to call this background work background worker we're going to click on the event tab and do work okay also right here we're going to be like check for a legal cross, uh, cross thread calls we're going to set it to false for now because uh, checking for a legal cross thread calls we don't have to do that while debugging yes I know it's a bad practice don't kill me for it but now we're just going to program the thing so this one I always like to have it above here so alt and then right here okay so first off we're going to um, create a function a private void called something like gather the proxies and gather the proxies is going to have a few things it's going to have something like um, it's going to have a for each statement of course and we're going to call it a string and then uh, links in the collection of list box and square getter proxies and what we're going to do is put dot lines after this Oh wait, we have to do the text box. So text box underscore scores is dot lines. So for each line, uh, for each source, we may call it, for each source in tb underscore source dot lines, we're going to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a string, uh, call a string and then uh, an parsed web source and we're going to set it equal to underscore wc the web client we created darn dot string and then we're just going to call it something like source so right here we have selected that and we are going to download the string of that so when we do message box to show we put in unparsed web source it's going to display that so it's going to be like it's going to go to one of oh yeah and of course of course of course uh, we have to link this one to a uh, background worker dot start dot async run worker async And we have to call gather the proxies. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, it's useless. So uh, we're going to click on gather, and it's going to show the website source right here. And we're going to do something with that. If it fuck, if it fucks off. Whoa! It already is getting proxies, as you can see. So, um, what we are going to do is we're going to create a max collection 
So a match collection. And listen, you have like, we're going to use regular expressions and regular expressions have, uh, as you say, regular expression, it's called a regex. And what we can do is we can search uh, text files for certain things. And of course, uh, parsing HTML or XHTML with a regex is a bad practice, but we're going to do it anyway because it works really good with proxies at least. So we're going to create a match collection called uh, the proxies. And we're going to set it equal to, and then this is where the, and this is where I'm going to use a class. So uh, here you click add new item. Then what you're going to put in a new class called uh, underscore or just defaults where you can put your default settings, everything. We're just going to put this right here. We're going to use system dot text dot regular expression. And as you can see, it works. Works just fine. And I put this uppercase because I want to make it a constant because this is this value is never going to change, but you can make that constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another instance of the defaults class so defaults and then underscore df equals new defaults something like this yes then we're going to be like okay delete this match match collection underscore mc equals new match collection match equals new match collection so that was hard and then um, right here we're going to be like oh yeah we're going to be like um, gonna square df dot regex dot matches yes and then we're going to put that with unparsed web source Boom, right there. So now those results, we have to store them in the list box. So we're going to throw another for each statement, call this proxy in underscore MC. And this is a match. Okay, so now what we're going to do is for each proxy, we're going to add it to the list box. So list box, lb dot getter proxies dot items dot add and we're going to put in proxy now and now we're going to start it and because of the background worker whenever we click gather you can still use the form so yeah we have to uh, put away that message box because it's going to annoy us so by message box so now we're going to test it out and as you can see, it gathers proxies. And now, um, sometimes, um, sometimes the source doesn't work. So what are you going to do when the source doesn't work? Well, we are going to um, throw the try catch statement. So try, and then right here, try and then catch an exception. And what we're going to do is we're going to be like, we could either create a log and say which uh, link doesn't work. We can do that, but it will be a little annoying to do that. So we're just going to leave that blank for now. And as you can see right now, when we click gather, it's going to gather all these proxies. And it just keeps looping through this list till the end and it's going to be gathering proxies. And because of the background worker, this isn't going... How many times I click gather? Oh yes, and also the background worker can be pussy because it's doing something. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a try catch statement also right here. Okay. 
catch an exception and we're going to be like in the search box that show uh, the engine is currently gathering the proxies comma please like and subscribe see the hint there really casual so now when we click gather a bunch of times it's going to be like hey the engine is currently gathering the proxies please like and subscribe you can do that okay so um that was my tutorial on how to program a proxy scraper in like i don't know how many minutes this uh video is but uh thank you for watching and uh have a nice day